want to add to this, and this is our oligopoly with our heat demand curve, one thing that we want to do is look at the level of production because, again, we want to know on this funky looking demand curve where the firm is actually going to produce. Remember our rule that we keep coming back to, marginal cost equals marginal revenue is going to give us our quantity. Well, we don't have any marginal cost up here yet. We can add that in. Marginal cost, remember, is going to look like some kind of an upward sloping line. With this one, we don't need to worry about if it's hitting the bottom point because we don't have any other curves on here. So let's put in a couple of marginal cost curves. that's our first marginal revenue curve. If we're looking at our second demand curve, then we're here. Like, oh, but wait. Which level of production do we actually want to produce at? Because we're dealing with two pieces of two different curves. What we need to do is figure out what the marginal revenue curve looks like that goes with this demand curve. So what we have to do is split the marginal revenue curve just like we divided the demand curve. Pause that for one second. So we've got our keep demand curve. We want kind of kind of a keep marginal revenue curve. So what we want to do is take the marginal revenue curve that went with our first demand curve up until the point where we have the kink. Then we drop it down to the second marginal <laughs> revenue curve that came after that point, which is a little bit weird. And yet, that's what we're going to do. So with this marginal cost curve, this is the point where we're going to operate. That's our quantity. So that's how you actually figure out the level of production. Remember, for an oligopoly, it depends on whether or not the firm is going to match price increases or decreases. You need to split your demand curve. You need to split your marginal revenue curve. Then you need to know where marginal cost intersects marginal revenue. That's your level of production, just like we've always done. You know, this rule right here still counts. Don't forget him. He's important. Up to your relevant demand curve, over to your price. That's what you need to be able to do with this market. You do not have to worry about what your ATC looks like and what your fixed cost looks like. You just need to be able to do this.